Système International de Units. I'm not very good at French. Basically, the International System of Units. Uh, and that's why they're known as SI units. And there are seven base units from which everything else can be made. Now, one of them is time, uh, measured in seconds, and this is how long something happens for. We can look at the length, maybe temperature, the mass of an object, uh, and that's all sort of fairly straightforward. It gets a bit more tricky because there are three more. One of them is electric current measured in amps. We also have the amount of a substance, which is the mole. There's one more which you don't need to be so aware of for the course, but that is the candela, and that's the unit of brightness. So to add a bit more detail, if we think about time, we measure this in seconds. Symbol S. We also have length, which we measure in meters. And here's mass measured in kilograms. Electric current, perhaps flowing in a circuit, is measured in amps, or the ampere. Temperature is measured in Kelvin which is something that we didn't really study at GCSE, but Kelvin is used because uh, that goes down to absolute zero. So Kelvin, capital K, whereas we had a small K for kilogram. Uh, the final one, or the final two, so the mole is the amount of a substance, okay? And this amount is the mole, shortened to MOL, and the very final, a uh, thing that we need to look at is uh, luminous intensity. That's measured in the unit called a candela, CD. And this never comes up at, in uh, A-level physics. It might only come up uh, when you study physics at uh, university, perhaps. So where do these come from? Why is one metre one metre, and why is a kilogram exactly a kilogram? Well, it comes uh, from, um, historically, uh, various distances that they used. So, uh, a long time ago, they said that the distance from the North Pole to the equator on a line running through Paris was equal to uh, 10,000, sorry, 10 million metres. So, one metre is one ten millionth of the distance between the North Pole and the equator. Today, we define one metre as the distance that light travels in one two hundredth. 99, 792, 458th of a second, because the speed of light is 299,792,458 um, meters per second. So this gives rise to our current definition for one meter. If you want to find out any more, I've put a link below uh, to the Wikipedia page that has all the latest definitions and what they're thinking about changing them to in the future.